Hey, a folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3. We are the Sikh Empire. Last episode, we uh, we did some pretty major things. We won a civil war. We generated a civil war against our aristocrats so we could boot them out of the government. Uh, we have begun to attempt to liberalize our government as well. We have switched away from autocracy to census um, suffrage. So I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, sense of suffrage. So that is going to break the stranglehold of the aristocrats fairly well because we now have actual elections. We're trying to liberalize our economy next. We're trying to, we need to get out of traditionalism and we made a choice to go to the laissez fire. Annoyingly, we did start a war against Afghanistan. We basically won it. And then they, they had a civil war spontaneously broke out that canceled the war. Um, it left us with a tiny micro region here, but that's it. We don't appear to have any kind of, um, truce with them or anything like that uh unfortunately we still had the infamy from starting the war in the first place so we're having to follow up but i'm going to do that because i don't want this little isolated region to be like that so we're just gonna have to do that hope no one joins in on either side that would be super mega awkward we're gonna fuse steel mills uh, let me cancel you i will go in and big in our barracks count here a little bit Afghanistan, you're not going to exist for much longer. <sighs> Let's drop the enactment time. So we didn't get a, uh, we didn't succeed, which is unfortunate. We didn't get higher percentage either, which is too bad. But we'll take the faster tick time and hope that that's good enough. What's this thing over here? Yeah, I don't, I don't really care what's going on over here. Um. Recognize regional power. Rank 25. So how do we get... Um, if our prestige gets to 343, unrecognized major power. How do we get recognized... An unrecognized power wishes to remove these penalties with Clay's rec recognition of great power through diplomatic play. take a look at that after this war is done. I don't know how much it matters short term. We're not uh, to be fair, we we aren't we aren't big enough really to be a major world player yet. That's fair, but okay, here comes the war again, which we've already won once, which is annoying that we have to do this again, but sure. Currently an unacceptable government. Yeah, that's we're going to have to deal with that. After let's say five passes, we might look at tweaking things. Ooh, do we want to use crystal glass? What do we need for that? It just takes in a bunch more lead, which currently we can't support. Oh, the price of glass is already super mega low. Yeah, okay. So that's no good. And even if we had more lead mines, that still wouldn't really be a profitable move because there's not enough demand for glass currently. It does feel like something that normally has a lot of demand. And if we are part of a bigger market, then probably it'd be a great way to make money for us. But again, I want to try to stay independent if we can. At least, you know, at least for now. Just feels good. Different way to play from last time when we were in Canada and we're just like, all right, we're part of a big market and that's just the way it's going to be. These are almost done. Let me check our market. Okay, we don't have enough service. We're, oh yeah, we're still quite low on groceries, and this is a good money maker. I think I'm, I'm happy to expand our food industry some more. Infrastructure shortages. Okay, wait, let's go up to 10 here in Posh. Oh, you don't have much labor, period. 26, hang on, that might not work out. I mean, you can, you can do a couple. Uh... Right, let me build one here for now, and then we'll plan four in Punjab, uh, but it's going to need some more infrastructure, and we might be able to run policies, but I kind of want the authority for now. So the plan is just going to be to queue up another railway, which is already in the queue. It must be built, being built by the private sector, but I'll queue up another one. We're going to need tons of infrastructure here. There's lots of people. We can employ lots and lots and lots of people, um, so we're going to need the infrastructure to support all that. 
Okay, less of fire. Hopefully we get it to kick in this time. Hopefully there's no weird civil war that knocks us out of the war. Less of fire. Yes. Okay. Now what we need is we do need a legit government to complete path to liberalism. And I'd be happy to do that. It needs to be above 50% right now. Um, all right, rural folk, hold on a sec. You are unhappy. What laws would you be interested in supporting? Anything I care about? You would support stronger taxation laws. Right, that's the next thing we desperately need to pass. Uh, yeah, what we'd like to do, graduated, we need, uh, yeah, we need socialism. And it can sometimes be tricky, but proportional law is pretty much a no-brainer. Requires egalitarianism. Is egalitarianism a tech then? Because yeah, I'd like to make the jump straight to here. We might have to like uh, take a bit of a bit of a step to per taxa per capita, um, especially since it is supported by quite a few people, um, as is. And I think it does get supported by the rural folk. Do they support? They also support proportional tax. Okay, let's take a look at the tech situation here. Egalitarianism is. Oh, it's nearly there. All right, let's do it. Let's finish this and then. Hang on a sec. It was rural folk, armed forces, petite bourgeoisie, but they're they're marginalized. So armed forces, rural folk, if they're in the government, which would be this one here, we'll get decent support. All right, I'm gonna do with this, which is gonna bring up our legitimacy. Should complete path to liberalism. Oh no, we need we need one of these in the government. And we need to be at peace. Alright, still, that's fine. The tech is gonna come in really quick. There we go. War gold done. Urbanize. I mean, it would be great. We just need to make sure that all of our eligible Sikh states have um yeah, enough urban centers. It just means building more stuff in each state, which might be a little tricksy. We'll see. But there we go. We've got Western Afghanistan now. They've got the turmoil. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go for incorporation. Just, I, I don't know. I just I just incorporate everything. Maybe it's dumb, but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to cancel these. Get more food industry, which should help a lot with our quality of life over here. Should make a big difference. Um, we'll, we'll get childhood protection laws at some point. I was going to say soon, but I don't know what our timeline for that is actually going to be. We'll, we'll have to see. Okay, right, money is great right now. Well, you know what? I might be able to leave this low, but I'm going to go and bring our tax rate down to medium. Because, yeah, we have a lot of radicals. Holy cow, we've got a lot of radicals. And this should help with the quality of life. Stop damaging those relations. I am, I do want to start more warfare and grab these guys now, but we can wait and let our infamy drop a little bit. Unproductive trade rate. All right, egalitarianism. We need to pick a new tech. I'm gonna go and finish chemical bleaching, which we were working on. Now, if we go into politics, taxes, proportional taxation, 29%. And then we should be rolling in the dough, which might mean being able to build enough of a military to go after the British Raj. Again, especially if, the, if Great Britain is occupied. Yeah. If we can get two states with their barracks maxed out at 100, that's gonna be fairly strong. Not enough money. Do we add more construction sectors? I think yes. Again, I want the surplus money because I am going to want to sustain a bigger military. Oh, you're improving relations. Interesting. All right, Ottomans. 
Uh, we have negative authority. Oh, I can stop bolstering the industrialists now. Okay, get that authority back. I mean, I could start canceling some consumption taxes, but I mean, let's not go overboard here. There's being nice to people, and then there's, you know, whatever the hell kind of nonsense talk that is. Okay, iron is still a little pricey overall. I don't know if we picked up some more iron mines. Oh, you have more. You have really shortage of qualifications, huh? Maybe you should just build a university in Baluchistan. You need capitalists, right? That is actually probably a problem in a few areas. Because we, because of our changes um, with laissez faire, I think, I don't know if these were privately owned before. Were they government run before and therefore they were like more like clerks or something? Or maybe it was aristocrats? So yeah, the, the capitalists do have to come back. Now, we can build these in eastern Afghanistan. Yeah, we we've got a we've got quite a lot of turmoil here. You know, why don't I go and emergency relief you? I've got the authority. We've got a little bit of money that should help with some of the turmoil. But I think I will go and and um, ask for some iron mines to be built because that'll also employ you more gainfully which will give you more money, increase your quality of life, and generally maybe help move us in the right direction. Okay. Landowners are super pissed. I should probably start suppressing these guys again, but I don't know. We've had one civil war. What about a second one? Shell gun, smooth bore, breech loading, artillery. Oh, is what it leads to, yeah. So... Yeah, I was going to say, this doesn't change anything here, although I'm realizing we did take some territory. We're going to need to make sure that everyone is standardized on the right stuff here again, which is good. Uh, oh, yeah, more territory. Let's make sure everyone's on the same page, please. Mechanize is good. Precision tools, good. This, yeah, it's just to have fewer workers, which we don't need right now. Tooling workshop, all on steel, please. Thank you. Right, we're still not going crystal glass here. Yeah, let's switch everything over to rifles. And then smooth bores. Oh, uh, that does tank the price of artillery completely. Alright, maybe not. I'm gonna switch everyone over to filing cabinets. We're clearly gonna need more paper. Oh, wait, tooltip. Still not going to be enough, but um, if we finish the chemical bleaching process, that's going to be another tick in favor of um, paper making. It's paper making tech. Portion taxation. Okay, so now we're swimming in like all the cash. Um, do I need to change with the intelligentsia? We went back up here because you're taking a hit of what? Minus two? So seven versus nine doesn't actually change any of the math, and Bojrazi doesn't matter. Um, do we care about a prestige? Well, maybe. So we're taking a hit of 20%. So no, changing that actually will not fix our status on prestige. Do I just want to cancel some consumption taxes? It will help people get their resources. I think what's happening is I'm going to go and max out oops, the current construction industry in Punjab. I think we're going to start with that. I'm going to be able to support quite a lot more. Let's max it on cashmere. I think the answer is yes. I think. Uh, yeah. Oops. I don't know why 
that its ordering was changing. That was weird. Go put you at the top. Put you at the top. And you at the top. Okay. Watch me just like ruin my economy here. But in theory, we can use this to keep building faster, better, improve our economy even more. Um, big question is the big thing is we may be increasing. Uh, the price of iron a bunch, but we do have capacity for more iron mine in a few places. So overall, I think this is going to be the right answer. I don't know, I may be crashing my economy. But I feel like it's the right thing to do. Yes, the iron's already getting a little more expensive. Again, let's try to... Uh, wow, this Russian one is super profitable. Their iron price must be really low. I think we want to bring in the British market one anyway. I think that's going to be okay. Oh, iron price has gone to golden. Did I export? No, those were imports. Okay, let me... Cancel those after all, just because we may be hurting for iron. It does take a little while, I think, for the goods to be delivered. Okay, chemical bleaching. So glassworks and paper mills. Let's bone China here. Okay, that is going to increase our dye consumption a bunch. Let's see what we can do. And yeah, we're not going to crystal glass. We're going to keep on leaded glass here. But the paper mill, we really do want a lot more paper for the government. It's going to eat more dyes again. Um, Do we have dye plantations available to us? We do. Okay, we're going to take a look at that in just a second. Um, For now, steel railroad cards, maybe... Just flat out more construction is nice. More steel here. I kind of like it. I think we want dynamite improved fertilizer. I think that's going to be what's great for us. Um, how's the dye situation? Dyes here. Okay, so we have a deficit and that's probably about to grow. Yeah, even then just I'm pausing it did that. Let's go and just... For one dye plantation up at the top here to deal with that immediate shortage. Server party's been formed. That's always one of what we want to see in our developing, you know, country here. We want we want to make sure to not continue going forward. Grr. All right. Just a little bit of dye. I mean, we didn't have a shortage or anything. That was us importing porcelain. Yeah, we don't need to do that anymore. These iron trade routes are really valuable and really useful. Russia wants to enter a trade agreement. So that is going to consume some of our, uh, not our bureaucracy, but our diplo power. I'm going to say yes. We do trade with them. That seems valuable. I never go and like try to create those. Maybe I should. No. Decline to enter your customs union. Even though it probably makes a tremendous amount of sense for us to be in a customs union, I don't wanna. Remember would Green Party express their concern technology? Technology is important. Yeah, I don't really want agrarian momentum. Progress uh, finds a way. Yeah, see, landlord is getting powerful in it. Maybe I should cancel some things. Oh, um, Eastern Afghanistan. Yeah, your turmoil is pretty high. Uh. Cancel this. I will go ahead and cancel our least um, financially strong consumption tax, which is always the one like further down the list. So I'm going to remove this. This will give me enough to start suppressing the landowners again. Because they're definitely getting more and more potent here. And they might start to get cranky and, and start a, a rebellion, a movement of some kind. So we'll have to be ready to respond to that. Okay, yeah, wood's a little expensive, iron's a little expensive. I think I'm still gonna let these go through. Now, these places here, yeah, there's turmoil with a pretty significant uh, debuff. I'm gonna let this one finish. That's in Western Afghanistan, which I just took over. It's minus 73 efficiency, which is terrible, but it is nearly done. And the iron mines are kind of important, so we're gonna do this. Landowners, okay, well, you know what, landowners? You suck. Yeah, get less political threat. I don't like that China's starting some shut with me. That sounds like a bad thing. Let's talk about Make sure you're all on the latest. Election. Oh, Liberal Party's ahead. 
Okay. Industrialists, Intelligentsia, Armed Forces. Sounds great. Confirm. So I'm not currently pushing a law change. Um, let's see what we can do here. Yes. No migration. I don't know. Hmm. That's to be considered. Okay, there's nothing I can do here at all. Colonial affairs, no, not right now. Proportional tax is good. Um, I don't tend to use, like, like various, um, like, I don't tend to use tariffs. So I should probably just go to free trade. Because I don't, I just don't use them myself. Oh, um, you know what we could do, maybe more importantly first, is switch out of hereditary bureaucrats, which is still making landowners more powerful. Bureaucracy, institution cost multiplier goes down with elected. That's going to become very powerful. I like that appointing to bureaucrats first gives us more taxation capacity and supports the intelligentsia, which is kind of handy. We don't have that many institutions. I think long term we're going to want elected bureaucrats, but for now, just going to appointed is going to be very good for us. Path to liberalism was completed successfully. Hooray! Clarity, freedom of trade to the journal. Uh huh. Okay, that's yeah. All I mean the same. Dollop is the leader of the trade unions. We become radical. Guma, rural becomes a reformer. <laughs> no intelligentsia, popularity. I think we are going to do that. Get the intelligentsia to become increasingly popular is going to be mostly useful for us. All right, we're powering through this. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go and add in, we'll max out the Punjab um, military. And then, yeah, in terms of free workers, it would be Sindh as the most. Also Eastern Afghanistan, but you're you're too cranky. It'll cause us some issues. Um, oh, you, hold on, Sindh has decreased construction efficiency. You have turmoil? Well, that's frustrating. And try to fix that first. You do have a bunch of population. Okay, let me go into the barracks here and cancel this. Doesn't have the funds in the motor industry. Your sulfur mine seems. Well, some of the inputs are a little pricey. Okay, I'm gonna all click one because you are currently productive. Um. Opium's a pretty good money maker for you, as is the coffee. We also do dyes, which we can use. Let me go and alt click a dye plantation and an opium one. So I know you've got reduced construction efficiency. Actually, let me finish these food industries because um, they will they should help overall with our nation's quality of life. But yeah, we'll employ more of you. Yeah, some of you just outright unemployed. You got to go back to your subsistence farming or something. I don't know why you've been shuffling around. Maybe when changing some of the jobs or something. Currently, your infrastructure is okay. Yeah, you can always add more ports. We're gonna want more ports, but okay. Yeah, if we can develop sin some more, that's gonna be nice. Um, you know, actually, can we? Oh, I can't. Oh, it's just because we're currently... Okay, we're passing these uh, bureaucrats. I do want to switch to multicultural laws. I do want to switch to multicultural laws so that we can drop this discrimination, which is hurting this quality of life and increasing um, turmoil in multiple different ways. Low quality of life and discrimination does lead to uh, more radicals. So if we can get rid of that, that'd be great. Um, yes, we want appointed bureaucrats. For maximum success chance, please. All 
are still bros of Persia, which has worked out pretty well for now. At some point, I, we're probably going to go and conquer them, but uh, we're going to work still over here if we can. Yeah, it'd be great if you could declare independence from Great Britain. That would be wonderful. Okay, so the extra food industries were done. And we had a shortage. Post borders investment. Um, yeah, this makes Persia quite happy. We could have the manufacturing tax income on our side. I've set the industrialists. They'd still be at a 10, but just barely. So I actually want to make sure we keep the industrialists over at a 10 for job creators. So I'll say this, and actually we do... Um, a lot of times these come up and it's with a neighbor that we don't have a good relationship with and I don't care to have a good one. But um, for now, Persia on our side is going to be useful, so we'll do that. We've actually contested. Oh, we'll just barely. Freedom of thought. So we don't have a level three university. I mean, we also don't have freedom of conscious or, or total separation. I mean, I get to the bottom of the queue for now, but we'll, we'll get that university there at some point. Freedom of trade is literally just past free trade. But yeah, if we can get multiculturalism next. Okay, I can't go all the way here. First of all, we haven't invented human rights. And not even the intelligentsia support this yet. They're not liberal enough. Well, we can move up to cultural exclusion. So anyone who shares a cultural trait with any primary culture in the country, although we only have one primary culture. So this would need heritage cultural trait. This needs cultural trait. I mean, it's still a move forward. I don't know if it's enough of a mood forward to make the difference, though. Um, what about religion? Yeah, let's go to total re um, separation. This will radicalize the priesthood. This one wouldn't. But this would discriminate zero religions. We're going to try this. We may have to back out. We'll have to see what the um, what the priesthood decides to do. But yeah, let's get liberal. Let's get liberal. Liberal. I think that's a Olivia Newton John song, right? I'm pretty sure that was one that she sang. I guess um, on that musical note, we will put a cut in here. Radicals had had gone down a little bit for a little bit, but now it's back over 7 million again, just all of a sudden. Still, I think overall we're moving in the right direction. Oh, shoot. Well, we probably finished um, uh, incorporating a state here. I don't think we've changed our institutions. Uh, maybe one of our change. Okay, Ooh, hello, revolution. Extreme. 82, though. That's actually not enough for the revolution to actually occur. Well, we'll put a cut in here. I think we're going to keep pushing the total separation. Um, We do need to fix our bureaucracy problems, though. What the heck in heck? I guess we'll probably just have to get some extra government offices, which we're going to want anyway. Yeah, hang on. I'm probably going to go and do that. And then in the places with the most tax shortages makes the most sense. Let me, um, I don't know. I think we can get some efficiency bonus from stacking as well. we'll put one in there. Just bring it up to 20 because it's a nice round number. Some of these, yeah, you do have construction efficiency problems, so no. I guess what I'll do is I'll click a couple more from the job. Okay. We'll do that. Help fix this bureaucracy shortfall. Potential for some revolution, but I think we're okay. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'll see you next time.